Hey there, 1st of 2016 Everyday Carry update. I, th I usually forget one or two things, but I'm pretty sure I've got just about everything at the moment. Um, actually, I'm wrong looking at this. <laughs> I'll fix that, one second. There we are. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get to it. I'll just go through everything. I'll try and be quick. I'll try and keep the video under seven minutes. Let's do it. Wallet, still the Max Edition Micro Wallet, just got two, um, just a bifold, nothing fancy to it at all, made of good quality in Ireland, got a $10 bill in there, very good wallet, I can't see myself ever changing it, I don't like having a big wallet, so that's that, just another little wallet for some cards and stuff. Uh, my phone, I've got a new phone, this is an iPhone 6S. And um, that's a pretty, you know, pretty common phone. But the cool thing is the case. This is a life-proof case, and this case is waterproof and shockproof to three meters. Um, very, very cool. And underneath the case, I also have a um, screen protector, like a a glass, a plexiglass screen protector, which is cool. Um, I like the um, finger unlock. Um, I'm playing at the moment a game called Lifeline, which I really suggest you look into it. It's really quite cool, a little text-based game. Probably the latest app I've been playing with. I'm not too big on the app, so I usually just listen to music and make calls and uh, use Facebook on my phone, but there you go. Um, very cool phone. You sort of, the best part about it was that the, the pin is sealed, like the pin input is sealed. I was always getting shit clogged up in the bottom of my phones, keeping it in my pocket. That clamps shut, the headphone jack clamps shut. There's thin membranes even over the speakers that somehow let sound through pretty well, but not water. You can submerge this and the phone stays dry. So very cool. You'll pay about $70 for it, but unless you're keen on having phone insurance and stuff, um, life-proof case, um, I reckon it's a pretty good investment. Uh, everything else about the phone is pretty much in line with most modern you know, phones that were released in 2015. So pretty good. Um, carry a Nintendo DS with me a fair bit of the time. Um, this is the new 3DS. Um, I play a fair bit of Pokemon. I'm a bit of a Pokemon. Um, right now I've got Pokemon X going. Um, what am I? I've got a. Um, oh, just a few other games. But yeah, just good to kill the time. And I will usually keep it in my backpack. Probably won't carry it in my pocket unless I'm wearing a jacket. Then I'll probably keep it in my jacket pocket. Cool thing about these is if you bring it around with you, if you pass other people that have a DS. Your games will kind of get little bonus content and things on them, so pretty cool. I'm not a big video gamer anymore, but that's probably the thing that's still keeping it going. Just the thing I forgot. Uh, again, if I'm carrying a jacket or um, like a coat with a pocket, extra pocket in it, I'll put the cold steel pocket shark in there. This is like a, <laughs> it's kind of a tactical pen, I guess. Um, I'll probably won't do a full video on it. It's like a permanent marker, but it's also made of that grivery that like cold steel knife handles are made of. So. Um, you can use it for like perhaps impact um, tasks, like perhaps you break a window with it, that sort of stuff. Just having a permanent marker on you is pretty handy. Um, it's got a pretty fine tip. It looks pretty silly, like I must say. It's quite quite chunky, like um, you, know, you take off that giant wood and you've got this little tiny pen. But you know, it's fine. Um, I'll, I've been bringing it along with me, I've been trying to anyway. Very nice subscriber of mine, Bob, sent me this. Um, uh, yeah, just, I think you want a contest and just want to send me something back, so that was cool. Um, cold Steel Pocket Shark. It's uh, becoming a bit of a Cold Steel man this year by the looks of it. Carrying a few Cold Steel products. Uh, my watch is the Victor Victorinox uh, Infantry GMT. The uh, leather watch band that was on it went all festy and mouldy. Um, uh, as most leather watch bands will do, especially with me, I'm a bit of a bit of a festy guy I guess. Um, so I've put a NATO strap on it which again is going a bit festy but the best thing about these you can just wash them or just soak them in some nappy sand overnight and they generally get their colour back pretty well. Uh, this watch is bomb proof. Um, I've, I wear this every day and I wear this in all sorts of situations and that sapphire lens on the top is still just perfect. There are no marks on it at all, no scratches. Very very high quality sapphire um, crystal display few features which I like, I just want it to tell the time, I don't want anything else. So I'm really, really happy with the uh, in, uh, Infantry GMT by Victorinox. These are my keys. Nothing special apart from a sliver gripper, tweezers, my keys. Uh, my Surefire Titan, which has become my uh, only torch that I carry. I've sort of gone off 
carrying another pocket torch. I don't know why. I just was. I just found myself always going for this one anyway. Um, and the battery is a AAA, which is a lot easier to keep. The CR123s aren't super common where I live. You have to actually order them off of eBay or from suppliers. So, you know, unless you're really on top of it, I was finding my O-lights and my um, 470s and stuff were just running out of batteries. And this really has um, 170 lumens, I think it is, or 150. That's all you really need for pocket carry. And you never lose it because it's on your keys. And the other thing, got a little best made company brass capsule. And inside is an anti-nausea medicine called Ondansetron, uh, which if you suddenly become, like if you get caught out away from home with like a gastro or just a food poisoning issue, that'll help you keep your hands on it before you get somewhere where you can safely shit yourself to death. Uh, knives, actually it looks like a hanky. I carry, I carry a hanky sometimes, or I carry this buff bandana, the Batman one that I've had for ages. Good stuff, use them for all sorts of things. Knives and tools, I'm either carrying at the minute a Spyderco Dragonfly, which is the ZDP-189, super sharp edge from um, a subscriber of mine, uh, Aussie knives and stuff. Very, very, very high, um, uh, very, very high performance um, steel and high performance grind. Still does kind of mark up a little bit, but that's cool. It uh, cuts like crazy, so really good. When that's feeling a little bit small, um, my newest knife, Cold Steel Voyager. Uh, I'm always carrying this to work, but I've been putting this in the pocket every day as well. Um, pocket clip's probably going to come off, and I'm probably just going to use it as a um, just an in-the-pocket knife because that pocket clip is horrible. Really doesn't go over <laughs> many seams without a great deal of forcing. Tanto serrations. I know not usually my thing, but I'm kind of enjoying the, the difference for a while. There's that, and then multi-tool. I'm carrying a little Leatherman Squirt PS4. All these little tools on it, little pliers, little pair of scissors, a couple of drivers, just about everything you need. Gone off of carrying a um, larger multi tool as well lately. Just because I don't seem to have the pants pocket space. So, essential stuff one, two, three, four, five. Always have them. And all the other shit. Oh, I'm always wearing a watch. All the other stuff is kind of if you just have more. Um, more space, wearing a jacket, cargo pants, something like that. So that's my everyday carry. Thanks for watching, dudes. I'll see you later.